Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you And welcome back to the beat up plans of a return to the Crimson Chateau Estate within the Darkest Dungeon. And you may be wondering this is Priscilla Croft, but who is this gentleman then if Doctor Strange is now level 3? Well, we have several level zeros now Burroughs, Bonnie, and Freddy. Named after Freddy Mercury, Bonnie Clyde, and you have to search up this fellow. He was into a cult and, for instance, by accident killed his own wife. Yep. So just search him up. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to say about him, but of course the most important thing is that, yes, I indeed invested in more barracks. I did that by training a lot and a lot and a lot of busts, because all those busts we saved up, we didn't need that many. You also know that we have but one crest while we had a many. So do we now have the puppet district? No, we have the cartographer's camp. Torchlight is more beneficial. I uh, This is nice, the puppet theater, don't get me wrong, but this one is indirectly going to help, I think, more. This helps you to surprise monsters better if your torchlight is full. It helps you find more loot if the torchlight is full. I don't mind dark runs if I wasn't on Blood Moon. I'm not on Blood Moon. I have gone for the cartographer's camp. It's the number three, so I also thought I have the feeling that the stronger ones are up here and down here it becomes a little less or more specific, if you will, because, wow, this still costs 300 friggin' Creston. Yeah, I don't know. Um, they're all so, so expensive. I mean, a hundred porters for the House of the Yellow Hand. Holy poop. I, uh, the next thing I really want to get is banks, so I didn't also trade anyway any portraits. I do want that, but I also want money. So, and I, I just want to have some fun down here, and I want the sun glow, because now that I know that I definitely want to have torchlight all the way all the time, I would like to have the sun cloak, for instance. Get me some busts again, and it is a long, long dungeon. We're gonna go with Sergeant Gruff, with making sure that he stays in this position, plus a little protection, and then lower his speed incredibly, I, I am aware. But, uh, and getting some trap disarmor scout. We have extra protections, plus Eldritch Slain, because we are going into Cove once more. We are having the heal skills on him, plus, we never used this one before, the Cursed Incense, plus debuff skill chance. Alright. Plus, move skill chance. Oh, yes, we're gonna try that. And minus 10 maximum HP, but he only has 19 HP, so it's 1 HP off, so I think I can handle that. And then Priscilla Croft with the Blight Amulet, to blight a lot of stuff, with the uh, Carpus Idol for protections, and I have actually unlocked her healing and invigorating vapors, because at first I want to play with Montessori. Then I realized... That means really no, no true healer in a long dungeon with two people with minor heals and one self heal. I wasn't sure about that, and then I saw that we had both a leper and a, a grave robber available in the stagecoach, so I took him. And then, yeah, well, the only true healer there was <coughs> a cultist. Fine, I guess I'll take him. Provision. Um, let's do it like. A little less. Oh, that's too much. We'll take a full stack of that. We'll take a full stack of that. We'll take a full... No. No, 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 no. We're over-exaggerating here. Two stacks of that. And... Bandages, because you might get bleed off. If I think this is fine, embark. And expect this to be another dungeon that I will probably do in twos, if it is indeed as long as I might expect it to be. And don't forget that we have some people on level zero. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. And we also have to explore 90% of rooms, and yes, the layout is bad. So, expect this to be another two-episode dungeon. Don't forget, we have an antiquarian. Let's look at this. You now have 80% chance. Yeah, even if I give you the survival guys, your chance is so low that I'm not really sure I want to do that. 
Oh! Shoot, he's in the back! Oi! I... Oh, yeah, got the wrong one. There we go. That's the one we wanted. Um, I hear some strange sounds, sorry. Got a little distracted there for a second. That is very little damage. You are Eldritch. You're also unholy, even, apparently. Yeah, we need to have the crits in order for the stress relief. We are not really good in the other way around. No in any other way to remove stress. That is annoying, Barnacle Barrier. But we have two stunts in the team. Why on the guy that already has so much stress as it is? Torch buff! Mm. Yeah, HP should not be too much of a problem with an occultist. What is a problem is stress, so that is really what I am a little afraid about. Dang damn it, if he goes quicker in the round, then we'll still get a stress wave. Ah, yep. Yeah. No, no, ceremonial cut, of course. Because he's in the wrong position. As Good. The falls, the faint hope blossoms. Even in our new Blood Moon runs, we try new things. You bled her and you, you prick. I hate occultists, but I needed a healer. Uh, why do I never unequip bolster? I know it's more. You know what? Bolster! The hell! And we still get hit, despite the incredible dodge bonus. So, that bolster, totally useful! Well, you're taking down the blight, that's for sure. You bled her a second time. You numbnuts. Their formation is broken. Maintain. Why did I ever try and do the blight when we have enough damage to do it just straight up? That is, um... At least we both have people that lower blight resistance, and so they cooperate very well with one another. Which is why I also originally wanted to add the Plague Doctor to this team, but... Yeah, just no true heals, and that was just a little too weird for my taste, even. Certainly after the last run. It's really annoying that we don't have the second stun, otherwise we can cheese this a little more. Ooh, nice crit. Oh, then dear, that's not enough. Um, well. Nope. Try as I might, that's not enough. Take the kill. One we will use. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Um, considering it is 90 ex 90 percent exploration, I will go in this direction as well. Well, let's see if you will stay in a team and get some good abilities. You got a disease. And you already have slow fr I might throw this guy out once we've used him. I hate occultists. I really think they're pretty poor. But perhaps I shouldn't complain too fast. 
This is, by the way, an annoying team of two of these guys. This might be useful. I didn't equip his stun. I'm sorry. Too focused on the annoying occultist. You can't target anything from that position except for guarding. Good to know. I did not know. Now I know. That will kill. And you know what? Let's guard you. Let's get some protections up. We have, to, by the way, two ways to guard as well. This team has options. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Mm. Should have actually done him because then also his bile would have worked. No oh well. Surprises me at times. He hits with this huge of a mage, and it does only one that mace, by the way. One HP of damage. I know I understand that otherwise the skill would be too strong, but it's really like... Come on, man! How can you even hit that... That softly with such a huge weapon, but never mind. Stunning the guy in the front. And let's work on him with our blind skills. Heal yourself a little. No crit for stress relief, which is what I mainly hope for. Please let us work down one, and I think this way he is dead. Yes, now he is. Doesn't matter the particle barrier, he is dead due to blight. Because it's four now, yep. Because of the reduction. And you may be protected, buddy boy, but blight goes through. Proper flanking, he says. How can you flank when you're all in this position and they are in this position? That's not flanking. Well, I think you need to look up the Tassaurus on what the word flanking entails. You are, by the way, dead. Just trying a debuff for a crit. Well, perhaps I should have healed my man at arms. Awesome. This expedition mm. at least promises success. Uh-oh. Oh, no! That could- that thing can work beneficial, but minus 25% damage and accuracy until camp on the one that is actually our damage dealer is kind of a bad draw. It's kind of a horrible draw. Uh, shoot. Oh, well. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, I guess so. This is not what I wanted to do, but... Um, last time we got a lot of good stuff out of you. Let's try it again. Waiting to be spent. Um, that's a lot of cash, was Um... Yeah, but I can't take that with me yet. Secret room. Oh, we need to take that into account. Don't know yet how, considering its position, but... As I already said, it was going to be a long dungeon anyways. And this time, we have no light creation. Um... Last shuffle room that we're gonna use on something like this. Oh my! The luck of fury. The damage thing for an abomination. I have to take this with me. There. That is, uh... That I can... Tell myself that that's okay. We need 90% of room, so we need part of this corridor anyway. So we're gonna go down here, probably backtrack... As, yeah, we... Hmm... Yeah, we need to backtrack like crazy. I need to let the torchlight die out. There's no other way. And we'll need minimal camp food. Here we go. Fight in a little bit of the. I still didn't equip his stun! What's wrong with me? Well, this way we can prevent partially his stress. At, at least if he wasn't first rank, because then I think he would have uh, had troubles with his m move choice, but now I'm not so sure. Are you dead from this? No, because the blight is only two. That's really annoying. That's really annoying because if he would have done it on him, it would have been fine, but no. Good dodge. We needed that. That is a good, good heal. Alright, the brine will hit, probably. But that is dead, dead is dead, and you are weakened as well. This is how a life is taken. So, let's just stun you. And guarantee your death by... Yep. Pretty dead. Pretty dead. Oh, this is annoying. I should have... I, I need to equip this bloody stun, man. I'm gonna keep the deeds. And we're not gonna light a torch. We're just gonna go down this corridor. And we're probably gonna camp out here. So, and oh, I'm going to bloody equip his stun. Oh, how disappointed you, my watchers, must be in me. Alright. We are in the darkness. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. We'll eat little. Make sure that we have enough. 
We don't have anything that prevents a nighttime ambush. Don't forget that. That's really annoying, but that's just the way it is. Uh, self only. One companion. Pep talk. Self only. All companions. Uh, let's do that one. Weapons training. And... This would lower the stress of everybody else. Let's do that. Anger management. We can definitely uh, afford it on him. Hmm. No, let's not do that. Let's do that. Sorry that I'm silent, I'm just wondering what the hell I, can I do here that would help a lot. Like, really focus on something. Um, Let's give you that incredible buff. Alright. In Radiance, may we find victory. We'll see. Two only because of minus fifty stress. Four. That's awesome. Why did I not attack this dude? What is wrong with me? I'm going to stun him now, by the way, in case you're wondering. But really, what is wrong with me? I I need to focus on this this dungeon. Boom. Get stunned. You have no dodge, you have no speed, you have nothing but... Yeah, okay. Could have put him forward, but then he was at the third row and that is then dangerous again. He will die from blight, so that's fine. That's pretty good. Goodbye. And time to heal. It is nice with this trinket that every blow I land there just succeeds. I don't need to, I don't need to fear anything here. It just works. There we go. A um victory. But a victory nonetheless. After all, we can stack gold very high thanks to an antiquarian. Let's take some gold with us, huh? I mean we're doing an antiquarian run. Let's not forget about that. Could indeed have been worse. Could also could have been a lot better, Mrs. Priscilla Croft. Man, the light is going down so quickly. Hmm, that is always good, I believe. And then knock him back. But at least he is stunned. <laughs> and he's in a good position for Beast Bile, for instance. Shocker Healer. That's not so much of a problem because we don't have anything to heal at the moment. Nothing significant, at least. Unless they're all gonna focus on him. Barnacle Barrier is useless. I like it. That's damage. That's a little less. Um, but let's start with the bow. Glad that is a miss, because with his buff that could have been annoying. Now you are probably dead because this blight will land. Yes, because you have a minus six seventy-six percent chance versus blighting, and we'll hit you. So that you are stunned again, and then we're almost done with killing you as well. Uh, 
Um, guaranteed to kill on both of these. This team can do damage. For sure. Best target to attack. It's interesting how the abomination cannot work with any religious class, or rather say no religious class wants to work with him. However, one of his skills is called Absolution, which is a very religious term. So it's really interesting that they have done that, actually. He doesn't want to be a beast. He was experimented upon. It's not his fault. And with his recent uh, nerf, I'm wondering if they should not perhaps be more lenient towards this. Just hoping for a crit for some stress relief, because heals, eh. With the possible bleed, it could almost be as detrimental as it could be beneficial. Oh, you are dead. You are very dead, good sir. Um, let's... Heal a little. Heal some more. Now let's heal this. There we go. Goodbye. Whoa! Success. So clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I hate to do this in a sense, but... I mean, we already have one, but it's just too good also in money. There we go. 30 stress relief. Nice. We still also have, like, a secret room. I've, I'm starting to think that these stacks will also get removed at a certain point for the secret room stuff. Um, we don't have the proper materials for that. I I need to walk a little bit in darkness because I'm so afraid that we have too little torches. The layout of this dungeon is just horrendous. Tipler, Dark Temptation, or Necromania. Mm -hmm. Fear of Beast, that's kind of bad. Diurnal is bad. Slow Reflexes is bad. Clumsy is horrible. The other one, too, don't matter that much. Fear of Beasts? Or Clum... Uh, this is guaranteed, and then he's... He is good. Alright, this is going to be possibly a darkness fight. Not getting any use out of our newest district. Let us hope that no shamba comes around, because... Can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Mm, and of course, then is when a trap fails, so that we gain additional stress because it is dark. Don't you just love this game sometimes? There's a fight over here. I need to create a little torchlight to make sure that it's not a shambler. That was a very strategically lit torch. Precision and power. Death waits. Too bad, but that's the best one that can get that, so there you want. I really wish to miss my stab here, I'm noticing. Alright, this really means heals, heals, heals now. Possibly should have blighted this guy actually one more time. Um There we go. Heal. 
heal that. And... Retribution, would that be enough? No. Then I won't do it. Stun chance is low, but it worked, so that is amazing because we don't kill you at this moment. There we go. I have the feeling I'm a little bit more quiet during this episode. Probably because it is a little bit at the end of the day uh, while I'm recording this. And probably some of my uh, usual power is lost, if you will. Well, we don't handle this fight. Very good. And uh, yes, we're going to walk a little bit more into the darkness. But I have to say. That is for the next episode. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.